We live in fear of the person who coughed right next to you or the person down the street who doesn't look that well. Oh my God, I got to stay away from them. Every year, about 0.1% of the population will die from every flu that comes up every year. But it's not different than flu, it's just a bad flu. It's dangerous except for this. It can be treated. <laughs> The coronavirus is a flu virus. And they want to say, it's not the flu. And I go, look, a flu has a range of symptomology. You've experienced that range yourself. Some flus, you don't even know you had the flu. <laughs> it, it, the immune system takes it and runs with it so fast that it, it eliminates the symptoms even before they manifest. So you may have had flus in the past, didn't even know you had it because the active the immune system would eliminate it. First of all, let's understand something. What is a flu and what is cold season all about? There are a number of different viruses, rhinoviruses and coronaviruses that annually show up every year and bring us all the symptoms of a flu or cold. The viruses that affect the respiratory system where the air is coming in and going out, air is coming in and going out, are viruses that actually replicate at temperatures below body temperature. When a, a virus of this cold nature infects a cell, it doesn't replicate at 98.6 or 37 degrees. That's too warm. So basically, if the temperature drops a couple of degrees, then the virus kicks in. So the virus doesn't operate at body temperature. It operates at a colder than body temperature. That's why flu season is associated with winter. The average person is going to have flu symptoms that range from, I didn't even know I had the coronavirus, to respiratory distress. That is a threatening problem. And respiratory distress means that the symptomology has pushed the system and the respiratory influence of those virus down your respiratory tract from your throat all the way down in your lungs uh, is open for infection by this virus. It, it could get worse. It's dangerous except for this. It can be treated. <laughs> so having respiratory distress is not the end problem. If you can get treatment, uh, it, it'll go away. It's a bad flu. Coronavirus is a bad flu. The largest portion of the population is not going to die, even though the news media threat is, they didn't come on and say, Flu season, it's going to be aggressive this year. Take care of yourself. No, they come on and say, aggressive flu is going to kill up to millions of people. And it's like, geez, <laughs> as soon as I hear that, it's like, okay, it's not every regular year now. It's like, I could die millions of people. That includes me. And the fear is becoming a problem. But in some countries, they started testing everybody. But guess what they found? About 50% of the population that was tested had previously been exposed to this virus, but has no symptoms. In other words, there's a massive number of people, 50% of the population that was tested had already been exposed to the virus and they had no symptoms. It means a very important fact that their immune system is working so good that even though they were exposed to the virus, that virus was not able to overtake the system because of the strength of their immune system. The bigger problem you have is the fear of the virus. In a fear response, the biology of the body changes to put energy into escaping the fear. That proverbial fear is the saber-toothed tiger that chases us. When the consciousness of protection is required, then the biology will adapt to a protection response. It shuts down the growth and maintenance of the body. It shuts down the immune system. Stress shuts down the immune system to conserve energy. We're all gonna manage the coronavirus. Yes, you could get a respiratory problem and it could be distressing, but guess what? It's not that it can't be treated. It can be treated.